Well, since you're a little kid, um, I've been thinking about it and meditating on it all weekend. So it just, it means everything. Who's the village that got you here? Who are you going to go celebrate with now? Um, I would definitely say my family, of course, my coach. Um, he's been encouraging me all weekend, continuing to help me believe in myself. So without them, it wouldn't be possible. How much of a PB was this for you today? It was a pretty big PB. I went from 50.1 to 49.7%. So it's pretty significant. So I'm excited. You think you had it in you today to run sub 50? Yeah, I mean, I've been training extremely hard. This is the best shape I've ever been in. I've lost a lot of weight. Like, I've been doing everything right. So I knew eventually it was going to happen. Do you want me through that final 100? Where you pick people off? Yeah, I mean, I just had to go in there believing my, believing in myself, um, believing that this moment was mine as well. So um, I just, I knew it was going to be a fast race. So everything I had, I just gave the last time good. How early did that Olympic dream get into? Um, well, I've been running track since I was four years old. So I've always been looking up to like Simon Cooper, Ross, and Alison Felix. Um, so it's always been something that I wanted. Alexis, sometimes the way, in terms of how you advance through the sport, yeah. like sometimes the Olympic cycle might come first, or yeah. sometimes the World Championship cycle. So how blessed do you feel, how grateful do you feel that you've had multiple times already to wear the Team USA kit now before being an Olympian for the first time as opposed to the other way around? Yeah, I mean, I feel extremely blessed. I think everything happens in the right time. Um, I know I still have a lot of developing to do as a runner, so I'm really excited to see the rest of my journey, and I think this, uh, this is where I'm meant to be right now. You have closed relays, whether it's mixed or women's, with such, you know, flourish so many times. Yeah. Were you, I mean, I know sometimes people just shut off their minds altogether, but <laughs> it seemed like you closed that last hundred like you were, you had a stick in your hand and you were running the relay. Yeah, I mean, I think I went into it with a similar mindset of like, it's either you do or you don't. So I just kept telling myself like, swing the arms down, the legs are going to follow. Um, I always just go into every race thinking like I have to give it all that I have. So that was a mindset. Do you think of yourself as a closer? I do. I think um, that's one of my strengths for sure. And I'm also just a fighter in general. Um, I definitely have a lot of ups and downs throughout the season that people obviously don't see. But like, I'm always going to fight. I'm always going to try to continue to do the best I can. So that's one of my best qualities. What were the ups and downs? Like, what was, what was the biggest thing you had to overcome this season? Um, I think just still kind of trying to accommodate to being a pro. I mean, it's a huge difference coming from college where everything is taken care of for you. Um, and then just shifting the mindset too. You're not racing as much. It's a lot more training and things like that. Nutrition. So just trying to put all the pieces together. Um, yeah, so just going in that yeah. way. When did you sign with Nike? Um, I signed when I finished school in 22, last, uh, two years ago now. Gotcha. So, yeah. yeah. Were you yep. based out of what group were you in? Um, I'm with Coach Boogie. We train at Arkansas now. Okay. Yeah. So do you train with the collegiate women at all? We don't. We get that a lot, but we're completely separate, though. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah we're she, all... just, she just watches, watches them break all of her relay records. <laughs> right, yeah. But no, we don't train together. Yeah. Alexis, obviously, in, you know, in, uh, I mean, you can only be the best version of yourself, but, yeah. uh, but 